Hi, in this screencast we're going to talk about how to start coding CSS. Uh, you do need to know uh, some basic HTML in order to start using CSS. Uh, once you know that CSS is used to give HTML tag styles, you will find it reasonable how the CSS codes are structured. First, uh, let's just think of CSS as setting up style rules inside your HTML pages. Okay, And let me just show you the simplest way that you can start using CSS styling. Okay, uh, I have a CSS folder. I have a index.html. Let me open it with top style. Uh, top style is a pretty awesome uh, program uh, because it focuses on CSS. Okay, I'm gonna shrink the window for you a little bit. Oops, too small. Okay, so you can see. Uh, the reason why I like CSS is because there's this panel and on the right that's called Tag Inspector. Um, when you're in the CSS mode, uh, it automatically gives you all the properties that um, that's associated with uh, CSS styling. Okay, I'll show it to you in a bit, but let me just move that out of the way. Okay and get back to the HTML page that I have set up. I have a doc type of 4.01 transitional uh, with loose uh, definition. I have the HTML structure. Uh, I have the head, okay, open and close head, and then I have the body, okay, and I have uh, the main uh, header, that's wrapped around by the h1 tag and I also have two divs, two containing divs and they're just basically containers that wraps around uh, two lines of texts right okay so the easiest way to start using style sheet is to just do it in line inside the uh, the HTML tag. Okay, so this is what I mean. Uh, you can inside the opening tag uh, have a space and do style equal to double quote. Inside the style attribute, you can start using as many style sheet rules as you want. Okay, uh, let's just make it simple. Let's say want to make the color of the text red. That's all you need. Okay, so let's save it. Let's minimize it. Let's see what we get in our browser. See, the header, main header text is red. Okay, alright, so let's go back and do some more styling. Let's go to the first containing div and let's give it a style equals. Uh, let's say we want to make the background color to, let's use a hex and let's do three, 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 three. Okay. This is a sort of like light gray. So let's save it, minimize it, double click. All right, so you see, uh, actually it is pretty dark gray. Um, the container, including the text, right? You see the text here? The whole container becomes gray, okay? And let's minimize it again. And let's bring back top style and let's make the second div. Uh, let's see what we want to do, huh? 
let's make the font size inside that div um, bigger. Okay, so let's do font size. Oops. Style equals font size uh, 20 pixels. That's big enough. I have a shortcut save button here. Minimize it. Let's see what we get in our... Okay, so we have a red main header. We have a, a first div, containing div, that's gray. And then um, the third container has a bigger font. Okay, so this is the easiest way to start coding your CSS. This is called inline styles. Okay, you just do a style equals two double quotes and put the styles inside. Okay, I'll show you uh, what I mean by using top style. As you can see, if I move my cursor in between the style equals attributes, it has all these attributes for me listed out. Okay. These are all the list of style sheets that I can use inside the style attribute. Okay. So it has a color red. I can make the background color also in a different color. Green maybe. Okay. Oops, let me move it back in for you. Okay. And that'll make it a different color. Um, See, and if I move out of the style, the style sheet uh, list becomes the HTML um, list for me. Okay, so these I know these are all the attributes I can use for this tag. Okay, so uh, that's uh, CSS. Okay, and that's it for this screencast. Thank you.